Hi friends, welcome to our channel. My name is Esther and this is QS Fashion Up. If this is your first time of seeing this channel, you are in the right place. Please, please hit that subscribe button up there and join the family. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. So you'll be the first to get notified whenever we upload new videos, okay? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful shirt on the thumbnail. So I'm going to be using this fabric, doll face fabric for this tutorial. The first thing is to fold my fabric with the highest measurement, which is the hip. Okay, after that, I went ahead to draw my starting line. So this is me just drawing my starting line. I'm going to be starting all of my measurements, all my measurements from that line. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is to mark my two inches, which is for the elastic casing. <laughs> elastic casing. Okay. So this is me just marking two inches all the way. All right. After I was done, I went ahead to connect my points together. All right, after I was done connecting my points together, I went ahead to, to mark the length of the shirt. I'm going to be using 14 inches for the length of the shirt. So this is me just marking 14 inches. I'm going to be starting my measurement from that 2 inches. Can you see where I place my tape measure? So I'm starting my measurement from that line, from that line, okay? So after that, I went ahead to mark 1.5 inches for the aiming allowance, okay? You can make yours more or even lesser, okay? So this is me just marking 1.5 inches. After that, I went ahead to connect my points together, all right? After connecting my points, I'm just going to go ahead and mark my hip line, which is 8 inches, Okay, I'm going to, remember I said I'm going to be starting my measurement from that 2 inches that I, I drew out, okay, that I marked earlier. So this is me just marking my hip line, which is 8 inches. You can go ahead and measure yours to know your own hip line, okay. After that, I just went ahead to connect the lines, the points together to create a straight line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to, is to mark my crotch line okay the crotch i'm going to be using is that i'm going to be dividing my hip by four my hip is 37 divided by four is 9.25 but i'm going to be adding one inch to it which is 10.25 the reason is that i want the shorts to be free on me i don't want it very tight okay so that is why i'm adding extra one inch to it so from that point i'm going to be marketed 10.25 okay for my crotch depth okay so this is me just marking 10.25 for my crotch depth okay you can measure your own so that you will be able to know yours okay you can also use this method to get your crotch depth okay after that i'm just going to mark the shirt is not going to have a zipper at the waistline so i'm not going to be shaping the waist so i'm going to be dividing my hip by four so my hip divided by four is 9.25 okay so that is 37 divided by four 37 divided by four yes so after that i'm going to mark the same nine points 9.25 at that same point that you can see that line also okay so i'm going to be adding half an inch to it for the same allowance at the front panel if you don't want your shirt to be free please don't add it you can leave it that way and it will come at night it's because i want my own shirt to be free that is because i it's like it's like a, a nightwear okay it's going to be having a it's going to be having an elastic band. Elastic. It's going to be having an elastic. What am I saying? At the waistline. Okay. So I'm just marking 9.25 plus half an inch as every point. The waistline, the hip line, and the crotch depth. Okay. After that, for my crotch extension, I'm going to be dividing whatever I use for my uh, my crotch um depth by four which is i divided 
is supposed to be 10.25 but i'm using 10 approximately 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 inches so i'm going to be extending my crotch by 2.5 inches you can divide yours whatever you use as your crotch depth divide it by four that will help you to get your crotch extension so at this point i'm going to be extending that crotch by 2.5 can you see what i'm doing so i will extend it by 2.5 inches okay so calculate your so that you'll be able to know the accurate figure you're going to use to extend your crotch okay so this is me just connecting my points together from the waistline to the hip line to the crotch depth okay also i'm going to be using my french curve can you see the french curve area to connect my crotch extension okay if you can use your free hand go ahead and use it and if you can if you have your french curve go ahead and use it okay now come to my m line and divide my tie by two my tie is 23 divided by two is 11.5 so i'm going to be imputing 11.5 at that point okay so this is me just marking 11.5 inches okay at that point can you see what i'm doing so after that i'm just going to grab my ruler and connect my points together okay after that i'm just going to extend can you see what i'm doing there that is because i don't want any shortage by the time i'm aiming the bottom of the shirt so that's why i decided to extend it that way so you can do the same thing to yours okay so at this point i'm just going to grab my scissors and start cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting okay watch carefully make sure you cut before the line not after the line can you see what i'm doing i'm cutting before the lines not after the lines because if you cut after the lines you're going to end up um losing some measurements okay i don't know if that is um clear enough okay so this is me just cutting by the time i was done cutting i just go ahead and slash it open i'm just opening it up because at this point it's still one one piece so i'm just going to open it up so that i can have my two front panel okay if you are deriving any value from this video please please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe okay thank you very much so after opening it up i'm just going to go ahead and cut the back panel so the difference between the front and the back panel is that the back will be two inches bigger than the front okay if you if you don't want your shirt to be free if you want it very uh, fitted you can extend it by 1.5 inches okay I've tried it severally and it came out nice and perfect but because i want this one to be free i don't want it too 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 tight extremely tight extremely fitted so that is why i'm extending mine by two inches so for every part i'm going to be extending them by two inches the crotch extension the m line um every part <laughs> I hope that is clear so i'm just going to be extending by to accept the m line it's going to be the same length you are not going to extend that part by two inches so please okay so this is me just connecting the points together okay so i'm just going to draw a line there so that it helps me connect that crotch extension to the upper part okay after i was done i just grabbed my french curve to do a perfect work like a smooth work there so if you have your french curve you can use it to connect that part okay after i was done connecting i went ahead to blend it very well 
and I'll grab my ruler also and connect the lower part, the side. Can you see what I'm doing? Sorry. Yes, just connect all the points together like so. And I'm extending that part also like I did for the front panel. Can you see? So that there won't be any shortage of fabric. So after that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my scissors and start cutting 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 and cutting all right all right i want to say thank you to all my subscribers you guys are the best thank you and thank you and thank you so when i was on cutting okay so i have two piece of the front panel and two for the back panel okay so this is me just laboring them i'm laboring them i'm trying to labor them okay front and back okay so it's time to sew the shirt so i'm just going to grab one of the front and one of the back like you can see on your screen so i'm just going to align them together right side facing right side i'm going to sew across that line that area that I'm pointing at. I'll do the same thing to the second one. I align them very well and sew right side facing right side. Okay. When I was done sewing, I had to open the seam and iron properly. Okay. So I have two together. Okay. One on the back, one on the front joined together. So I'm just going to place them right side facing right side. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's the back side I'm pointing at there. Okay, after I was done, I'm just going to go ahead and join them along the crotch line. Okay, along the crotch. <laughs> so I just joined them. And after I was done joining along the crotch, can you see? Neatly joined. The shirt is coming together gradually. So I'm just going to go ahead and aim the bottom, fold half an inch and fold one inch, okay? For the upper part, you know I added two inches. I'm going to be folding half an inch and two inch for the elastic casing, okay? So, after I was done, after I was done <laughs> folding in, so can you see I left two inches opening? for the elastic that's where i'm going to be passing my elastic through i've also aimed the bottom so for the elastic you have to subtract five inches four to five inches from your actual waist measurement mine is 31 minus five i was left with 26 inches so this elastic is measuring 26 inches by one inch okay so at this point i'm just going to insert my elastic into the waist okay so this is me just inserting my elastic like this like this and like this <laughs> so when i was done inserting the elastic i placed it together like this and i secured the elastic by half an inch okay after that i'll just go ahead and close the the opening and now and i'm done with this shirt okay so this is these are the final look of the shirts i actually make two of those shirts one for me and one for someone else okay so this uh these shirts are so beautiful the color is so cool and nice so guys if this tutorial has been helpful to you please please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up it helps us to produce more content okay my name is esther and this is qs fashion up don't stop learning keep learning this is me signing out bye bye